Becoming an affirming regional council grounds us in love because it gives people a space where they can love openly and wholeheartedly and where the joy and beauty within their hearts will be embraced in its fullness, where love will only ever be met with more love. Because it's an expression of the radical inclusiveness of the gospel shared to us in the person of Jesus the Christ. It opens doors and welcomes people in, grounding us all in a sacred story that says here, in this space, there is room for everyone, just as Creator made you. Becoming an affirming regional council grounds us in love because it allows us to connect with others and to be able to connect ourselves more deeply in faith um, with this community. It provides an experience of the reality of God's beloved community. Because everyone should feel welcome everywhere, no matter what. And it makes me feel welcome. Becoming an affirming regional council grounds us in a love that has no bounds, no barriers, no conditions. Because just as how Jesus was born to embody God's love for us all, we are embodying Christ's call for us to love our neighbors by actively working towards full inclusion of the 2S LGBTQIA community in our church. Love knows no bounds, and the more we open up our community, the more different people can join us, and then we can create more friends, more connections, more networking and everything. So anybody with a different like race, culture, ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender, um, because we have this like basis of loving everybody, everybody feels accepted and that makes everyone happy. Because when we make a conscious commitment to being affirming, we are more likely to carry out our intention with actions. And being affirming for me is following the example of Jesus. He was radically inclusive. His followers were not the elite of his day, they were the outcasts of society. By including all, he showed us what love is. Not the Hollywood version of two pretty people, but loving those who we might find hard to love, those who our society says are not worthy of love. It makes true the promise that I learned as a teenager when I was coming out in the 1980s that my church always had my back. My church, my home congregation, the leadership of the youth ministry that I saw at BC Conference said that I was loved by God and by my church. And there weren't a lot of places where that message was given. So becoming an affirming region now just really affirms and makes true that those promises were real for me and for my family. Even though it will not get rid of bigotry and discrimination, knowing that all sexual orientations and gender identities are not only tolerated, but celebrated as an official policy is a powerfully positive message for us minorities. It testifies to God's love based on equality and justice. So becoming a uh affirming regional council grounds us in love because it keeps us moving beyond saying you are welcome to asking and listening for the barriers that people still experience in the church to receiving love and it keeps us working together to identify those barriers and working together to dismantle those barriers becoming an affirming regional council grounds us in love because it welcomes us, it accepts us, and it loves us no matter who we are or where we came from.